I trained as a, a leukemia specialist. We gave routine, very toxic therapies to patients, but it wasn't until my wife got ovarian cancer and had these same very toxic therapies that I saw from the other side of the bed how awful they really were. And that's when I got very dedicated with my laboratory on learning how to use the immune system to deliver cancer therapy instead of the poisonous chemotherapy. Dr. June and his colleagues are finding safer ways to treat cancer by manipulating our body's immune system using CAR T-cell therapy. What we do is take T-cells and then put a receptor into them so that now they will lock onto and recognize a patient's leukemia cell and kill it. When Emily's family approached doctors to try CAR T-cell therapy, it was considered a last resort. Emily Whitehead was the first child we treated with leukemia. There were no approved therapies left because she'd had them all. Her parents had literally been up night and day without sleep just to try to get her onto this experimental protocol. All medical wisdom at that time said that Emily was destined to die. Tom and Emily did not believe that. They had faith that a miracle would happen. We treated Emily on a Tuesday. That was really a non-event. We infused her cells and nothing happened. But by Friday, all hell had broken loose. She had a 106 degree fever and that lasted for three days. She entered into a, a coma, had multi-organ failure, and all of the staff in the intensive care unit thought she was gonna die. We found out on a Sunday that her interleukin-6 was a thousand times above normal. You treat interleukin-6 with a drug called tocilizumab. So we went and requested permission from the authorities, could we give this drug on an experimental basis to Emily. It had never been given to a cancer patient before. The drug was given to her in the intensive care unit when she was comatose, and by the next day, there was a remarkable and miraculous recovery. To see her wake up was, uh, uh, it's not describable. She's now 10 years without cancer, so we say she's cured. There have been about 20,000 people in the world treated because of this success in Emily. When you look across the world, there's more than 500 trials underway with new kinds of CAR T cells. Research is really a, an amazing privilege to do. Probably the main quality that I see with my colleagues is a shared issue of persistence and stubbornness. This ability to keep working on a problem until you get it right. So I'm really optimistic that this next generation is gonna see the cure of cancer.